We know that exposure is established by the key light and fill light. But what is exposure? In this Blender tutorial, we are going to learn to understand the exposure and with a simple setting, we can adjust the exposure of the scene. Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. Without further ado, let's get started. Exposure is the amount of light that reaches your camera sensor, creating a visual data over a period of time. And that time period could be fraction of seconds or entire hour. You can see here I have this empty viewport. No, I have some objects at there. You can see here I have this Susan. Then here I have one plane. And then here I have camera. If I have the camera, it means I have the light setup also. So here is my key light. Here is my fill light. And here is the back one. Okay. Now if I switch to the camera view, then go to the render tab. And you can see the render add there. Here I have used the center composition. And my camera is in the front direction. And you can see the lighting setup at here. Now this image is the properly exposed and you can see here I am getting the brighter part and here it is a little bit of darker part because of the key light and that key light creates these shadows and I have the fill light also and its power is lesser than the key light. It is 30 and the key light power is 150 and as well as I have the backlight which is here and its power is also 30. And I'm getting this good looking render. Exposure is the made of a three different data settings. Shutter speed, aperture and ISO. In a blender, we use this digital camera, we just get aperture. If you select your camera and if you go here, then you can see we are getting this aperture, which is good for the depth of field, this f-stop value. But we are not getting ISO and shutter speed. If you want to adjust the data of these three things, then you need to use the add-on, which is the photographer's add-on. Uh, you will get that add-on on a blender market, I guess. But just with these two sliders, you can adjust the exposure of your image. You can see with the exposure and gamma. Now, this image is properly exposed. Just go here to the render properties and then color management. And here you will get this exposure slider and gamma slider. You can use this to adjust the exposure of your image as well as you can use this gamma slider. This exposure slider will help you to increase or decrease the brightness or means to expose your image. And this gamma slider also will help you to adjust the gamma value of your image. It means the intensity of the darker part. If I decrease this gamma value completely, I will get complete dark. Even though I increase the exposure, then also you can see the look I am getting at here. Just because I have decreased the gamma value completely. And if I increase the gamma value right now, you can see everything is way brighter. So that's why you need to give the proper values here. One more thing is there with exposure slider, you don't need to adjust the intensity of the lighting setup. If the intensity of your light is little bit less and you want a brighter look for your entire scene, then you can use this exposure slider to adjust the exposure of your render. So this is also helpful. While adjusting the exposure, you need to understand few things. First, overexpose leads to overexpose highlights and faded looking image. You can see, if I increase the exposure here, I'm getting too much highlights and I'm getting that faded looking image. So that's why if I increase the exposure, I will get overexpose image and more highlights. You can see if I decrease the exposure, then I will get a darker image and it will be hard to see. You can also adjust the exposure in a post production using the compositing softwares as like a Photoshop. But you need to understand that overexposed image contains less data, which means there is less room to make changes. So this is about the exposure which you can use in Blender to create good renders. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.